Hey, I hope you watched my last video of the Clemente Figuera setup where I reversed it and flipped it on its head. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And by the way, I'm Jim from the Mooker Forums. Join in the description and, uh, you know, help us figure this kind of stuff out. You know, get on the bench. Well, what else is there to do that's better than this? Okay, so let's look at the Clemente Figuera. This I'm using light bulbs just for simplicity so we don't have all these coils and seven of them just so we could view what's going on here. Okay, usually people think that right here is the battery, right, which is cut in series, they think. Okay, and I've thought this too. And you have your positive and your negative of your battery sending current into the commutator. Okay, now as these contacts activate, um, the brush goes in succession back and forth, activating and putting least less resistance through the bulb. And when it's over here, it's putting more resistance through the bulb by varying the resistance. Okay, so adding and subtracting resistance that's going through the load. Now, so if this brush was here and traveling left, this bulb would be weakening because it's traveling less, adding the current has to go through more and more resistance by the time it reaches this bulb. So the bulb starts weakening because of the added resistance. So let's write when the magnetic field is shrinking equals added add resistance. Okay, that's the philosophy of the first one. Now, what's the problem with this? The problem is if we accomplish the goal and the induced mutual EMF of the secondary tries to actually surpass the zero line and get us again, that means the energy has to flow back up. Okay, instead of coming down when it's shrinking, the actual energy passes the zero line and flips direction. Then magic starts to happen if we could get it to do that. But the problem is, in this situation, any energy that's coming from the coil has to return to the coil. Okay, so therefore it has to go through all this resistance as it's shrinking in order to get back. Okay. And this energy doesn't want to go through this resistance. It's going to kill the current. It's going to do voltage drop. It's going to choke it all out. And you can't get it to do it because you're fighting against physics or electrical technology. Okay. Uh, I'm going to delete my good writing there because this battery we got to remove. Okay. Now I'm going to place my battery here. Okay. Now... Remember, in the original patents, it doesn't show the placement of the battery. Um, the original patent was waterlogged, and someone drew it in with the pencil and red marker where they think things go to try to correct it. Look at these. It doesn't show where the battery goes. Okay? There's no battery there. It doesn't show where the source goes. Okay, so let's go back to mine. Okay, now I'm going to connect my battery there. <clears throat> now, this opens up some very interesting stuff because... Remember, before, uh, shrinking magnetic field equals added resistance, okay? A-R. We'll put add and resistance. Now I'm going to put the battery there. Okay, let's not even consider this resistor. First of all, this battery and these two coils here have a closed circuit. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so they're, they could always be powered. There's no time these coils will ever disconnect because they're in a total closed circuit. Okay. Now, this eliminates all sparking and arcing on the commutator because you're never disconnecting the load. The load always has a closed circuit. Okay, so now let's just assume this commutator was at this contact, okay? All right, there's no resistance here because we are in the end of the resistor. Now, this current coming out of here, out of this battery, has a choice. It could go down to the bulb or it could go up. Hmm. If it goes down through the bulb, it has to face off against, let's say, 10 ohms. And it has to face off against 10 ohms. And it has to go back to the negative. So that's about 20 ohms. 20 ohm path. Right? But, let me just delete that. But if it chooses to go up, it has no ohms. It could go whoop, right through the, the wormhole. Come out. And now what? Oh, go through 10 ohms and home. 10 ohms. So is the current going to choose to go through 20 ohms or 10 ohms? It's going to choose to go through 10 ohms, the path of least resistance. This bulb 
is off because all the current, or practically all of it, is coming out, bypassing this bulb, and going back to the battery, only lighting one bulb. Okay. Now we're going to reverse the commutator and go to the other side when this sucker is all the way over here. Okay. Now this positive, again, has a choice. It could go up and go through all these 50 ohms of resistance. And it's like, no way. I'm definitely not doing that. It don't want to face all that resistance. Instead, it wants to come down through this 10 ohm bulb. And then here, hmm, I could go through another 10 ohm bulb and do 20. Or I could take the shortcut. With no ohms. Boom. Now this one's off. And this one's on. Wow, huh? Okay, now... Let's take this commutator and put it right in the middle. Okay, now this battery says really no, there's no shortcut anymore because the shortcut is equal and these are equal. It's equal on either side. So it's just going to go like this because there's no shortcut. I mean, it's equaled on both sides. Okay, this and now both bulbs will be lit or both electromagnetic fields will be equal right when you're in the middle. Okay, now what's special about this? Um, first of all, because it's a forced equalization, a forced equalization there and there, um, one grows while the other ones shrink at a much better rate, and they're both actually on while it's shrinking. Okay? It, like, smooths everything out. And no sparking, as I said. It eliminates most, if I mean, from what I was seeing on my commutator, I didn't see no sparking at all. So I'm thinking it eliminates it, but more testing would have to be done. Okay, second of all, Remember this, shrinking equals added resistance. In this fashion, shrinking equals less, lessening of resistance. Ah, what does this mean? It means if this one is here, right, all the energy is going this way and bypassing this bulb. So as this contact is here and going to the right and lessening the resistance or decreasing the resistance, this bulb is going off and shrinking. The electromagnet is shrinking its field with lessening of resistance instead of adding resistance. Why, why is that special? Because um, as this current is starting to not go, to lessen going down this side, less and less and less going, it wants to reverse and with the help of the secondary, it no longer has to fight the resistance. It has a resistance-free path to connect itself to. So let me delete that and try to show that a little more clear. So almost all the current is going up this way, right? And then going back to the battery like this, right? Now, this coil just shrunk when this was going over to here. The secondary coil induced the primary and it was pushing it to shrink faster and it crosses the zero line and it actually starts to send current up. Right? This current now doesn't have to go through all this resistance like it did before. It has no resistance to complete its path, allowing a full current reversal and there's your gain mechanism. Now, is it going to operate like that? Do I have something wrong? Possibly, probably and whatnot, but watch my last video of how this thing worked. It was insane. In my opinion, it was so much different than um, the original hookup. Now, I don't know what it's going to do with the correct electromagnets and if you get it right and how many you need or the specifics. I'm still in experimentation, but I wanted to show you the current paths, how you understand now this no longer acts like adding and subtracting resistance, but it acts like a floodgate that diverts water current or electrical current more one way than the other by opening up the gate instead of restricting the gate. So the other way was restriction gate. This way is a opening of the gate on one side, which gives current a short path to bypass each way. So Fascinating stuff. Join the forum in the description as I continue to do more experiments with this and figure out more about this. Godspeed.